Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Alexis. Thank you so much for tuning back in. It's been a rough two weeks, but I know y'all understand me. Y'all know my heart. Um, thank you to all 192 of you who have subscribed. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all feeling the content. They're feeling the content. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I wanted to finally wrap up this series um, regarding my t-shirt series, um, getting it up and running and having these shirts ready to be sold. I've had the shirts for about two weeks now. It's just, like I said, it's been delayed making this video. So <clears throat> where I left off when I made the shirts that I did in the last series, and I'll put the card up here um, so you know what I'm referring to. I got my shirts from two vendors, T Public and Printful, and I was expressing my uh, reviews of them and what I disliked and liked about the shirts. Um, but overall, I decided that they just weren't best for me and my needs and what I wanted my business, what I wanted my product to look like. Um, <clears throat> and so I ended up uh, re recalling that somebody told me Alibaba is a really good place to find vendors for whole, not wholesaling, but bulk order bulk orders <laughs> so I hopped on Alibaba and I actually was pleasantly surprised with what I found um so same thing to Fiverr I kind of just put in what I needed <clears throat> and so I knew I wanted crop tops and I knew I wanted something float well actually I take that back I wanted shirts and I wanted something just like form-fitting but not too uncomfortable just like something you can lounge in and still be cute you know so when I typed in um like women's shirts women's like young women's shirts like I don't know trying to be trendy i don't remember exactly what i put in but it gave me results back of more so what i was looking for and so you can actually just see each vendor what their products are looking like um kind of just scroll through and if you want more information you can click on what the product uh picture is and so eventually i came to the vendor that i found and am currently using for my crop tops <clears throat> and so i uh, just clicked on the picture and looked at the rates and everything now what i recommend and what i did I, once I saw that I liked the shirt, I messaged them and I asked them some questions, just saw if they could even do my order for what I was, the quantity I was looking for. They said that they could, perfect. So then we move on and I give them my order of how many I'm wanting. I show, I show them the graphic that I'm wanting um, and all of that good stuff. So they said that they could do it and it would take about a month to fulfill and get to, well, to fulfill, to making, to ship to me. So I said, okay, so I sent them the money <clears throat> after a lot of back and forth. And I mean like a lot of back and forth. I wanted to make sure they knew exactly what I was looking for. Um, and I wanted to make sure that the quality was good. Um, so I had them show me videos of the product. They were like stretching it. They were showing me like blank shirts of the shirt before I put anything on it. And they were showing me pictures of other customer shirts to prove like it's not see-through. Um, it's stretchy. The graphics don't break and tear like how I didn't like on the other shirts um they're just pretty good quality um so I said okay cool so the thing that I learned as well <clears throat> when you're working on Alibaba it's obviously nice to get a sample however a lot of these sellers are based in China it's difficult for them to make one product of some something and ship it to you for what they would be selling it at bulk price so if they're selling selling you shirts for four dollars a shirt they're not gonna be able to sell you four dollars a shirt of one shirt it's you have to have a certain minimum to get that price so with samples they can be pretty expensive um, for my crop top they were gonna send me a sample for sixteen dollars and I still would have had to wait one month to get it so what I decided or I'm sorry no <clears throat> they quoted me $35 for one sample and it would have taken a month and so I was like well if I decide to have them do the sample and it gets to me and I like it then I have to place another order and wait another month so it just further delays me getting my shirt out so what I did was um, ask them if they could create a sample <clears throat> and then once they have it um, ready, I asked if they could have somebody wear it and like stretch it, do all the same kind of tests that I was doing before with my sample. And then I would just kind of have to trust in, on a wing and a prayer that they were legit and they weren't scamming me. So they made the sample that only took like four or five days to make. They showed me videos of like their, their people wearing it, um, like the workers 
stretched it out, showed me it was see-through, and they even um, were awesome enough to put my company logo on the inside, like where the tag would be. So they showed me that as well. So it was really dope, I was really pleased. Um, I will go ahead and put a video right here of what this shirt looks like and me trying it on. Super pleased with how it turned out. <clears throat> And so once these shirts sell out, I will either be restocking this design or doing another design that I've been waiting on. Um, it just really depends on how these shirts sell. So you guys, they are available for purchase now. The link will be in the description below. You can find me on Etsy at Aligned Batty. <laughs> they will be there for you guys. Um, and I may be having a Black Friday sale, so stay tuned for that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so all in all, I decided not to go with the bigger name companies. Obviously, there are cons to that. Mainly, I can't, or I can, I can do bulk orders of like hundreds, but I would have to store them in my home. Um, whereas like, again, the print on demand companies are really best for keeping the product in house with them. So you don't have to worry about storage space and then they'll ship off the products as people buy and I believe you're not responsible for shipping because it's included in the fees that they take from you um, so it's pretty nice you don't have to worry about the fulfillment aspect or storage so obviously those are pretty big pluses but you can't beat the price honestly and I will say I just overall love the quality better and that was the most important thing to me at the end of the day is quality and what it you know what it looked like that I actually enjoyed wearing it which I do I wear it quite often um, so that's just to wrap up my series if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave a comment down below and just let me know um, if there's anything I can answer do one last follow-up video I will gladly do so um, otherwise I'll probably make another follow-up video with my other shirts whenever I do the next graphic whenever that may be um, just to let you guys know where I'm at, if anything's changed, if I can give you any more helpful tips and advice um, or any information that you should know. <clears throat> and so my final word of advice on this, on this theory is once you have your, your shirt, you have your vendor, you have your product, you're good to go. Make sure you're marketing the heck out of it. Place it on all of your social medias. Tell your friends, tell your family um, all about it. And if they're not interested in it, ask them to spread the word because at the end of the day, your target audience isn't your friends and family. Your friends and family purchasing from you is only going to get you so far. You need people who you actually believe are going to support your shirt because they actually want to wear it. You need those people, not your friends and family. Um, it just is what it is. Uh, but outside of marketing to them and on your socials, reach out to micro influencers, ask them who are aligned with what you're selling. My t-shirts are spiritual based, uh, spiritual content based. So I reach out to creators who I feel are on the same same wavelength as myself and ask them, you know, hey, do you like the shirt? First of all, because I don't want to ask somebody who doesn't like my shirt to represent it. I feel like that's just counterproductive. I'm going to ask them if they like it. And if they do, ask them if they can wear it for me. Um, I actually have a friend who is doing that for me now. Um, she complimented my shirt before I even asked her to um, post it for me on her social. She's kind of um, Insta famous and TikTok famous. So she's doing that for me. So it's just partnering. Even if I didn't know her um, and if we weren't friends, I would have still asked her just because nothing beats that, that word of mouth and that social media marketing that influencers can do for you. Um, I can only reach for so many people on my YouTube channel right now just because I'm still you know, growing, but she already has that following that can help me propel to the next level. So I definitely recommend that. Um, I even reached out to some YouTubers who are willing to wear my shirts. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, <clears throat> just any, any way you can reach, you know, Facebook ads, just make sure you market the heck out of your, your content so you're getting your money's worth back. And yeah, that is my last piece of advice. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I shouldn't be too much longer with a new video. Um, next week I do have another interview planned with a young lady who makes her own coloring books. Super dope girl, amazing. Can't wait for that interview. Um, so yeah, if there's anything else you guys wanna see, just let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, have a good evening. Peace and blessings to you all. I think I've ended the video like six times now. <laughs>